Hey guys, Gogsy here and tonight we're here at Oakleview Park uh, for a Scottish Cup fourth round replay between Stevesmere and Aberdeen and the header from Mark McGuigan was enough to earn the Warriors a replay for a second bite of the cherry against the Dons. Having already seen an upset myself this season, let's hope for another one and see if the Warriors can get through to the next round for a tie against either Queen of the South or Dundee. out the first park tunnel. Before tonight it's David meets Goliath tie, these two sides have only met twice in competitive football. One game being the original tie to Todry in which it was a one each draw, with Max Lowe's early effort being cancelled out by Mark McGuigan's header, which earned the Warriors a second attempt of maintaining their undefeated record against the Dons. When I was live, I couldn't watch it back, but I didn't watch it as much because I was filmed up yeah. over the last week or so. I didn't watch it back quite a lot. <laughs> we had a good attack on board, but I just kind of ruined my back, my back, back heel pass. Yeah. When I left back, when I got on so quickly, yeah, I picked up the ball, crossed it, and Mark headed in the back of the goals. What was that feeling? Was it confusion or was it just complete excitement? Yeah, I was really confused because I couldn't sell it because I was filming, of course. <laughs> It's not often you come to places, but well, places like Aberdeen and yeah. Yeah, they're really it's a pretty good team, but we put them back here so hopefully they win. Aye, good luck tonight mate. Cheers. The only other meeting at Oakleview was on the 18th of February in 1995, as Steny knocked the Dons out of the cup with goals from Tommy Steele clinching an unlikely victory for the hosts. Aberdeen manager at the time Roy Aitken congratulated the Warriors on being part of the club's worst result in its history. I'm going to be confident and say 1 0 Steny. We'll, we'll, we'll go for that because Steny have allowed me to come here and film. So, very grateful of that. So, thank you very much, Jamie, especially, for helping me out. Kick off is just around the corner here at Oakleview Park. It's a big camera that way he's got. wonder if he wants to swap. Feels away from Buffy, still slot right. It's his way through, and there's McGinn, and that's 1 0. It's the first blow. And that's 1 0 to Aberdeen. I think it was now McGinn that scored. Couldn't really see because so many bodies in the way, but aye, it's 1 0 to Aberdeen. Stuart's in there and taken down by Graham Smith. Penalty to Aberdeen, Sam Cogs rules on it. <laughs> to be fair, at least they're having a good time. So that's 2 0 Aberdeen. I think it's a routine victory from them from now on. Back on to Craig Stewart, is a chance! And it's in the net! And that's 3 0 to Aberdeen, it's very well deserved. Half time open view, it's 3 0 to Aberdeen, it's very routine. And that's all I need to say because they uh, we haven't really offered much to the game. I mean, pretty much because Aberdeen's a premiership side. All I can say is uh, hopefully Stens we can turn it around in the second half. But hi, three 0 bring in the second half. I'm just so Paris I was just gonna jump in the in the shot and just be like, Whoa. that's scary. <laughs> Forward and it comes and the header into the net! And that did my roll! Three one! <laughs> Come back on! Over knocks it inside to Scott Wright. Wright knocks it. Half this time. Greg Stewart sends it across and here's Donaldson with a header! And he's headed it in off his own crossbar! And that's Full <laughs> time local view, says we're one, Aberdeen four. Let's just get back to the studio and I'll do my full post match recap there because it's absolutely freezing and I want to go home. So now it's Friday, it's taken me a while to get around to doing this uh, post match analysis. Uh, I was at my dad's for most of the week. 
So I just thought, well, I'm most comfortable recording when I'm at my house. So I just thought, right, I'll just wait till Friday. So overall, I thought the performance of both teams, I thought, well, Aberdeen were just at the peak of their game. And they had to be because, of course, Stairs Beer clinched that replay uh, in the first game. And obviously, Stairs Beer are no mugs, even if they are at the bottom of League One right now. And that's the romance of the cup. Anything can happen in the cup. It's a one-off game and you never know, on another day Stenhouse Muir could have gone through somehow. So now we're getting started proceedings with a fantastic finish after I can't remember who made the run but it was a drinking run through and then the boys slid the ball to McGinn who took his time and showed his composure. Complete professional. But Fez, I actually missed the goal. All I saw was the ball hitting the top corner. From where I was standing, there were so many people that were taller than me uh, standing in front. Second goal, it was a penalty. I managed to get into the right position to film the penalty being taken. It was a stonewall penalty. Of course, Cosgrove getting the knock on and then just flicking the ball over Graham Smith, who used to play for Motherwell, and then stepping up to take it himself. Uh, lovely composed finish. Uh, that's my sort of penalty. Then Greg Stewart got his first goal on his return to Aberdeen. Uh, a lovely chip over the keeper. It takes balls to do something like that, especially in minus five degrees temperature. And he did that to perfection. Of course, the same spear defender on the line was unlucky not to clear it. It just showed a golfing class between a side who is pushing for top four in the top flight to a side that's unfortunately fighting relegation to the fourth tier. But then after half time, Stenis Rear got one back. It was a great header, a great downwards header, which is what you need to do in order to beat a keeper like Jolis because if you're just gonna head it right towards his hands, he's gonna easily catch it because he's one of the tallest people I've seen play football. And when you're growing up, you need to be taught, if you wanna be a professional footballer, to header a ball. You've gotta header the ball down the way because the keeper's not going to catch it and he's most likely to either parry it away or spill it uh, for another chance. And there I was thinking, maybe Stenis Weir do have an outside chance of coming back into the tie until the Stenis Weir defender decided to head the ball in off his own bar, uh, which is very unfortunate uh, and I hope he's alright. <laughs> but yeah, I think 4-1 was a fair result based on the overall play. I've got to thank Stenis Weir for letting me come down and film. And I really enjoyed my time there, I had a great night. Apart from the fact that it was nearly 10 degrees below freezing. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a sort of uh, test in the water video because I wanted to see what it would be like doing a different style of vlog. Uh, because I'm trying to branch out, I'm trying to get my name out there again. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below for more Sazzy content, subscribe if you're new. Thanks to Kami for coming on, uh, talking about the Stairs Mule goal. And of course thanks to Jamie for letting me come down. Anyway guys, I'll see you later. Take care.